Hey Aries, this is Chronic Joy Tarot, and this is going to be your mid-month update for October 2017 for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aries. Um, it's a general reading. It's not going to land on every single one of you. Um, but if you want, you can look on my channel for your moon sign or your rising sign and see if some of that resonates for you at this time. Um, or maybe come back to this in a couple weeks and see if it clicks then. You know, timing, I know it says mid-October. Um, that's just sort of to keep the schedule of the postings going. Um, but any time that you come upon this video is the right time for you to be watching it, right? And you can gain from it at any time. Especially the nature of this channel, it's about your spiritual growth and development. So there's always something to focus on, right? And at this time, right now, you know, our focus is going to be on a specific topic. At any other given time, it could change, okay? All right, so general reading for Aries. If you'd like a specific question answered and you want to book a personal reading, then check out how to get in touch with me through my About section. The Oracle card that we're pulling for your reading here is from the Earth Magic deck here by Stephen Farmer. It's a beautiful deck. It um, taps into all the elements of the planet and how they relate to our spiritual growth. And the card I pulled for you at this time, Aries, is fire. How appropriate for the very first fire sign in the zodiac. And it talks about passion as well. So we're gonna tap into staying in touch with your passion. You know, the literal, the fire in your belly, okay? That's what we're going to focus on and staying in touch with that and learning how to express it or experience it um, quietly within you. Whatever it is that brings you passion is part of your life force and it's important to acknowledge um, and embrace it. Okay. All right, Aries, this is your starting point here with the Zen cards, the outsider. Now, if you're feeling disconnected from those, um, things that you're passionate about or people that you're passionate about or an activity or a group or an element of yourself within. If you're feeling disconnected from that, just know that you're not, you know, this is all, that's all what your mind is telling you. That's all how you're perceiving it. Okay. Just like this little boy wants to get to the other side of that gate. He perceives that he doesn't belong over there in that beautiful rainbow world. But the gate isn't really locked. See the lock there on the chain? It's not even engaged. So all he needs to do is just step through and go. You know, get in touch with your passion again. That's what this is saying. Okay, you haven't lost it. And if you are in touch with it, then, you know, remain um, with it in the forefront, you know, of your experience. Keep, keep, um, keep in touch with it. Okay? Um, you may, the first internal energy, this left side is internal energies, things that others may not know that you don't share, but you're aware of. And that is the first one I pulled for you is sorrow. So not remaining in touch with the force of life that drives you with that fire in your belly, not staying connected to that definitely creates a sense of loss because you're losing, you're losing um, touch with your motivators. You're losing touch with your internal drive, your passion, okay? So you may experience, this may be where you are, that you're feeling disconnected and you're feeling really sad. But I think just, um, you know, turning your attention toward those things that bring you joy and those things that really make you feel alive, just, you know, bringing, bringing attention to them, even if it's just internally, um, can really have a change, it can really change up your experience quite dramatically. And in your external world, yep, it takes a little courage. You're gonna find that you are willing to let your, you know, if you've developed sort of a, a protective hardened shell, maybe around your heart or around your, your um, connections with others. Maybe you're, you're uh, retreated a little bit from others, but you're going to find that if you allow that shell to soften a little bit, 
you know, let that little seed from that flower get watered just a little bit, that the possibilities are amazing and that you could, you know, you'll blossom into a whole new phase of life. So if this is where you are, that you're feeling out of touch with those things that motivate you and drive you and it's making you feel sad, maybe you've experienced a loss of sense of self or a loss of, literally a loss of another, move forward, you know, let your heart stay open. Let your heart stay open. Have the courage to let it stay open and that will allow you to get back in touch with um, the true essence of who you are. Okay, in your mind, you might be battling some things. You know, both of these cards here on your internal energies are mind cards. So I'm guessing, Aries, that you may be overthinking. You may be um, trying to position yourself with thoughts um, instead of with your gut reaction, with your feelings, losing touch with your sense of passion. Um, you know, our minds are beautiful, wonderful tools, but if we overutilize them, we lose a sense of who we are because who we really are is a lot deeper than that, right? And that's exactly what this reading is, Aries. It's your fire. It's your fire in your belly, and that's who you truly are. That's when you get in touch with your true self is when you're able to feel deeply and intensely, okay? You're headed for a breakthrough, though. This is great. So if this is true for you, that you've been feeling disconnected, you're feeling a sense of loss of maybe a, a certain aspect of yourself, or your mind is just overworking and keeping you stuck and unable to really flesh it out and feel powerful again, you're headed there. This breakthrough, it's in the third chakra area. It's lit up and busted open. And that's your sense of self-empowerment. That is coming. And this is showing up in your external world. So getting in touch with the fire in your belly is going to change things big time for you. Okay? Really, um, and not in a negative way. It's going to release and shed the things that have been holding you back. And you're going to be able to move forward. Okay, the final internal energy is lovely. It's a sense of creativity. Maybe the thing that makes you feel most passionate is being creative. Maybe, you know, they go hand in hand. There's so much passion in the nature of creativity because it comes from the deepest parts of who we are. Um, you're going to reach it again. You're going to reach it again. If there's a creative endeavor you've been wishing to do, you're on your way. You're going to break past some of these mental energies that have been holding you back and you're going to go for it. Um, this could also mean finding a new creative way to engage in your life. You know, maybe you've been one that holds things back and doesn't really express yourself to others and then you feel disconnected and then you feel a sense of disconnection and sorrow. But maybe you're going to get creative about it. Maybe you find a way to um, show up and show who you are without, um, you know, breaking, pat, breaking the chain of your unique self, without breaking um, off the path of your true journey. You know, stay true to yourself and share it with others. Maybe you'll find a creative way to do that and it enhances your connections. But this could also mean literal creativity that you've been, something you've been dying to let out and dying to express from the gut, from the source of who you are, all of this whole journey is going to end up beautifully. You're going to end up with a sense of fun and engagement in your life and playfulness and happiness because you're being who you truly are. You're allowing your creativity to show through. You're allowing that fire in your belly to drive you. You're not worrying too much about the mental blocks. You're going to let them go and break through them, have the courage to soften your heart, soften who you are, and show up. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Okay, Aries. I I know this was quick, but I look forward to talking to you again in November. Thank you all so much. Continue to like and share and um, subscribe to my channel. That really keeps me going. It keeps me in circulation on YouTube. There's so many choices out there, and I'm just so glad you landed here with me. All right, take care. I'll talk to you in November. Bye.